Hi everyone, I'm back with another unboxing to share with you. This is another Opus 88. Obviously you can see it and I purchased it from Gold Spot Pens. And so if you go to the Pentertainment podcast, Penboy Roy, if you put like hashtag fire Tom, if you go through his link, he'll get some commission on what you're purchasing. And then if you put in the comments, hashtag fire Tom, you get a sticker. Not always, because I think I've gotten it where I didn't get a sticker before, but isn't that cute? Okay, this is Roy from Penboy Roy, and then this is Tom from Goldspot. They have a podcast that they do together on YouTube. Anyway, so if you follow his link from his podcast, he gets commission on it, but if you put the coupon code Roy, you get 10% off. Anyway enough about that and but look at what they did to me they sent me a catalog this is awful and I'm so excited to have it anyway I'm gonna get sidetracked so let me show you the pen that I have okay let me put this away I'm so excited to have that catalog they got me anyway this is what I wanted to show you. This is the Opus 88, and I have one, I have a lot, of four of the minis, but this is another full-size demonstrator pen. Oh, and I have it upside down. Okay, Opus 88 since 1977, and they all come in this like pretty sturdy box. So I like that. It comes with an eyedropper. And here is the pen and instructions on how to use it because this is an eyedropper fill pen. And if you're new to my channel or if you're new to fountain pens and you don't know what that means, that just means you open it and then there's no converter or cartridge needed. You just fill the body of the pen with the ink. So this is a demonstrator. Sorry, my dog's creating a shadow. And then you just fill that body and the first you have to open this to create the opening it's a little squeaky <laughs> i wonder if you can put silicone grease there so it's not so squeaky and then it opens it up so you can fill it with whatever ink you want and then when you're ready to write you have that open but when you're ready to travel or just to put it away, you close this up so the ink doesn't keep flowing down. And I thought this was gonna be clear and it's actually like a frosted body. That's how much I research I do when I get excited about something and I wanna buy it. So the reason I bought this was because of, where are they, these guys. So these are the Pilot Parallels, the calligraphy nib pens. Aren't these cute? I have, I have two and I have another one on the way from Jet Pens. And this is the six millimeter and this is the four. I'm not sure. Does it say on here? It might say on here. I see something written on there. I just can't read it. Oh no, it just tells you which way to turn it. Pilot parallel. Oh, <laughs> it's right here in big bold letters. 3.8 and a six millimeter. And I have another one coming. I don't remember what size. Anyway, so because these bodies are just so long, I don't, look at how much longer. Like this is a pretty big pen. Look at how much longer this is. So I've seen videos where people put the nibs from this one onto this one, which is what my plan is. And I can't buy one for each one of these, but I saw a video where they can use the Pilot, I always forget the name of this pen, Pilot something sign pen, Pilot, I can't remember. Anyway, so I ordered some of those from Jet Pens, which they're not cheap, but they're cheaper than this. But isn't it? I like, I like how girthy it is too. I really like a girthy pen. I like all pens really, what am I saying? Let me show you the nib. I got a 1.5 millimeter in case I just want to use it like that. 1.5 millimeter stub nib. And I 
I saw the girl from Gourmet Pens. She says she always removes a clip. But I always keep it on there because it's a good roll stop. I have some pens without a roll stop and they really aggravate me because they keep running away from me. Not fountain pens anyway, but still. So you can, should I try it? I think you just turn it and then you can just take it off. But look, that would get away from me. I need to put that back, not from here. I like it, it's a good clip, I think. It's a really matte, it's a matte black clip. To try to straighten that out. I should have done that before, huh? Maybe I'll do it like this. I think because of the resistance of the clip, I think it's just gonna have to straighten out once I tighten it. There you go. Good as new. Anyway, I think I'm gonna keep my clip on there because it's perfect roll stop, obviously. I feel like I wanna turn this clip so it aligns to that. Can I do that? I can do that on my own. No, I have to do that. I don't know if it did before or not, but I feel like I need it to align right there. There. So anyway, that's why I bought this so I could put one of these nibs in on here. And I have the other two pens from Jet Pens that are coming that are supposed to work for it. So I'll film that video when I get it. These two I have inked up already. I probably should have waited, but I couldn't wait. I wanted to play with them. So yeah, that's all I purchased from Goldspot this time. The Opus 88, and this is not my first Opus 88. I have the, the color one. I really like that one too. So this is the other one that I purchased previously. I filmed an unboxing of that one. And it's the exact same thing, only this is like just a demonstrator clear, I guess, frosted pen. It's got something on it. Okay, anyway, so the reason I wanted this one was so I could put the nib from this onto this. Now I'm going to wait to film that when I get my other pens. That way it can just be one video and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm happy with this and I'm hoping to be just as happy with this one. And I know I will because I'm going to put one of these nibs on there. And then I'm going to save the nib in case I want to switch it out ever again. You know, put it back to its original state. So that's what my plan is. We'll see how it goes. And when I do it, I'll of course share that video with you. We'll do it together. And I'll share my unboxing of my other pens so you know what that is. All right, everybody, that's all I have to share with you today. So thank you for watching and have a good day, everybody. Bye.